I present you with the Frankenwelder. Managed to get a small bottle, uh, 40 cubic feet. Got the regulator off of the old Lincoln. And now to try to hook up the valve for the gas. Um, work throughout an old uh, foot switch. I fixed it. Yes, sir. Got this. Work also had this. Um, I don't know what, 20 year old torch lying around. 200 amps, air cooled. It uses right hand thread. So I went and got this lug adapter. And I need to go 5 8 18 right hand uh, with my hose. Um, needless to say, what I am left with is work also throughout a whole slew of these hoses. I think they were for oxyacetylene. Um, they have 5 8 18 left hand thread on both ends, but they came handily enough with this 5 18 to 1 quarter NPT adapter. Uh, so, what I need to do is be able to go um, from 5 18 right hand thread to 1 quarter NPT FPT female pipe thread. Um, I have a tap for that, but I don't have a tap for this. Um, I'm sorry, not for that, but for this end, 5818. So, enter cutting threads on the G4000. Uh, but to do that, we have to remove, I believe it's this one here. I already took out the screw. So, this is supposed to be a 30 tooth, and there's a 60 tooth on there. Luckily, we did have a 30 tooth lying around. So we'll throw that back on. There. Get on there, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Alright. So we'll put the bolt back in. And uh, obviously that won't work. <laughs> so we're going to have to bring that in. So this is our 18 thread per inch tooth, and yeah, a whole lot of butt kiss. Really darn close, but not quite. And this is where checking uh, these 120, 127, and then 80 and 120, I'm fairly certain that is not an 80. So I think we have metric here on this big wheel setup, uh, like it is here in millimeters, 120 and 127 when it should be an 80 and a 120. 40, 80, 40 is the same on both. <sighs> right? Am I right? Golly. All right. So after consulting the manual, we have found the error of our ways. Don't judge. You you look at the manual too. We all do. All right, so we got to swap these out uh, for the appropriate gears, readjust everything, and try, try again.
Okay, so after throwing my temper tantrum, I got it back working. Put it back together and cut the thread. So uh, the end configuration was is that I had the 127 tooth on here, and that was a no-no. This should have been 120 tooth like it is now. Uh, it doesn't really matter what gear is here, as it's not even used. It's just there as a spacer uh, so that this little retaining clip can put pressure on it. Um, we have a 30 tooth here and then a 30 tooth here and then I believe that's supposed to be a 40 an 80 and that's already a 40 so what had happened was we this was originally set up to cut metric threads uh, it had the 120 127 so that is where we went wrong this was trying to cut metric uh, luckily I hadn't formed the thread completely yet so I think it's salvageable so that now fits in there nicely and uh, yeah I didn't have to r scrap it like I thought I would alright so now we're gonna put the quarter MPT threads on the back side of this and but uh, oh yeah so the point of it there we go so threading on the G4000 <laughs> This is my first threaded part. Yeah, so not it's not in steel or anything, but I'm happy with how that turned out. What should happen is gas will come in through here, the solenoid will actuate when I hit the pedal. It will then come out through here, and then up into here, and out to the torch. Hopefully. Oh, someday we'll have proper equipment. Someday we'll have a budget. Maybe when YouTube stops sabotaging me. Alright. Yeah, it's working. Here, can you hear it? <laughs> Finally! Alright, now for the hard part. Um, learning how to TIG weld. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Dang it! Always do that. Yeah, not very impressive. All right, if any of you know why that's happening, I'd love to know why. <laughs> it, it, it fused. Um, 
that's probably the best I can say for those welds that yeah I don't know why on the edges it tends to no longer fuse it I don't know maybe there's not enough uh, the heat can't go anywhere because it's on an edge yes okay I'll help him get it so the these charts here standard and metric they have a little diagram we'll bring it up here so the for, for the this 40 tooth is here this 80 tooth is here the next 40 is here and then the a gear is here and then you have a 127 or 120 depending on if you're metric or standard and then you have a 120 or 80 depending on if you're metric or standard and then you have your B gear so uh, two things to make to, if you look at the graphic it kinda lends itself to uh, to understanding but let me let me point it out so this is standard right this bottom gear here needs to be on the inside. There's a, a spacer here that was on the back side when it's metric. It's on the front that spacer is on the front side uh, when it's standard and it drives the 120 tooth gear. The 120 tooth gear drives the B, B gear which is connected via a square cut um, key if you will. Uh, that's not quite right. They broached it with a square uh, shape instead of a circle. Uh, so this drives this this, or I guess it'd be the other way, right? Because this is where the power comes in. So power comes in, 40 tooth, goes to the 80 tooth, goes to uh, the, the 40 tooth, and then goes to the uh, A gear, which goes to the 120 or 127, and then if it's standard, it then drives this B gear. If it is metric, then this outer gear, which will be the 120 gear, drives uh, the, B, the B gear. And the B gear is what drives your, uh, uh, what do you call that, your threading screw? Uh, it's this one here. So when you engage, you're good to go. So yeah, that was uh, fairly straightforward. I'm actually kind of surprised at how easy it was. Um, so to, to change out the A and B gears, uh, you'll have to remove a snap ring here. You'll have to uh, take off this kind of like set, uh, it's kind of like a retaining ring in a way. Pull the retaining ring out, loosen this, like I, show, like I showed earlier. Um, that will allow this gear to come out. Uh, you'll probably also need to uh, loosen this and loosen this Allen head screw. Um, and that'll allow you to rotate, move, and mesh all these gears uh, appropriately. So, a little bit of a pain going from metric to standard, for sure. Um, but I think once you're once you're like good to go, I, th I get most people you'll choose right metric or standard. Uh, so really, all you're looking at is swapping out that gear uh, for a slightly larger or smaller gear, right? This is going to be a 60 or a 30, and this is going to be a 60 or a 30. Right now it's 30-30, so according to this chart, I should be able to do 16 TPI, 18, 19, 20, da, 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 all the way across, like a so. And that's with a 30-30 on the A and B, and then the lever chooses which one of these threads. So we're in, we needed 18, so we were number two down here. All anyway, right, I hope that uh, takes away some of the confusion. I know uh, I've never messed with this before, and I didn't read the manual and I paid for it. So don't do what I do, do what you do, read the manual, or don't, whatever. But yeah, threading, super easy. Uh, a lot easier than I thought, actually. Although it was in brass, so um, might do some steel next and see just how terrible that is. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw here, consider leaving a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. I mean, really, it it almost costs you nothing other than you have to occasionally look at my video thumbnail once every two weeks. <laughs> All right, talk to you later.